Hello folks, in this uh, video tutorial, I'm going to explain simple linear regression as well as multiple linear regression. So simple linear regression is represented by this formula y equals to a0 plus a1 into multiplied by x, which is nothing but the formula of slope line, which we have already studied in our high school days. So slope line is uh, the line with the slope a1, okay, here, and which has an intercept as a0 here. So here y is a dependent variable, uh, which is something we try to explain. Uh, for example, uh, you know, what grades does a student get uh, with the amount of time he's putting into studies. And x is an independent variable uh, here. So in, in this context, y is tagged as uh, grades. You want to know and amount of time putting in the studies is x. Okay, so if I say that this y is a dependent variable here and x is an independent variable here. Okay, uh, and uh, you know a1 is basically a coefficient here for x, uh, which is an independent variable. And uh, this coefficient tells how the unit change in x affects y. So essentially, we can't say that change in x is always equals to change in y. There has to be, you know, some coefficient due to which uh, this change might be inflated or deflated. And a0 basically here is a constant term, which is uh, a point where best fit line crosses the vertical axis. I will show it in a short while. Okay. So let's visualize the simple linear regression. Uh, we have, you know, this x-axis, which is uh, y -x -x -axis and y-axis. And on x-axis, we have amount of time uh, to study. And on y-axis, we have grades. And we want to know how the amount of study affects grade. So in regression, we just don't look at the theory. We just uh, try to find out the evidence. So there, uh, so here, um, you know, we have some uh, some of the observations here, like the which are uh, represented by crosses, and uh, these observations where grades are distributed according to the amount of time they have studies studied. Uh, so the regression equation in this case would be like a0 plus a1 into time of study which is shown uh, in this shown in this particular blue box right and uh, what it means is putting a line to this chart so here you can see this line that actually best fits this data so we have observations here and we have a straight line which actually best fits this data now a naught is a constant here okay and uh, this constant uh, is represented by this value called 1.2 and here constant uh, is a point uh, you know where this best fit line crosses the vertical axis so this vertical axis and this best fit line it is crossing at this particular point so this is our constant okay so the uh, uh, so in this case uh, the formula here we will become uh, grades equals to 1.2 plus a1 into time to study okay so a naught is this constant which i told you where this particular best line best fit line is uh, cutting this vertical line of grades okay uh, and we can see in this orange box uh, the the new uh, you know equation would be like grade equals to 1.2 plus a1 into time to study okay so what this essentially mean is if a student puts zero time to study or doesn't study at all then he will definitely get a grade of 1.2 because time 
time to study will be if I if we make time to study as zero. So zero multiplied by a one equals to zero. Then the grade is equals to one point two. So let us say if a student is not studying at all, he will get a grade of one point two by default. That's what this equation is mean. Okay, and a one is a slope here, meaning the steeper the line, the more grade a student will get for extra time to study. Okay, so the steeper this line, if the line is this much steeper, then it will depict the amount of time, or uh, the steeper the line, the more grade a student will get for extra time to study. Okay, here we we can see that if we add one hour here in time to study, then a student will get. A grade a grade increased by 0.5. Okay, so with every increase in uh, time to study, the or we can say the higher the time to study, the more are the grades a particular student going to get. So in the simple linear regression, we always have one feature or variable. In this case, we saw that we have only one feature, which is x. Okay. But in multiple linear regression, okay, we have multiple features. So we can see features of variables. So we have x1, x2, x3, so on. Multiple variables in this particular equation of line. Uh, and uh, this particular formula I already showed you. This this multiple linear regression can be depicted by this particular uh, formula. And x1, x2 are multiple variables. So we have given the name multiple linear regression. So in, in our previous example, our independent, our dependent variable grade had more causations or variables like external tutor. So for example, what I'm trying to say is in our uh, previous equation, if we add few more variables like uh, external tutor, uh, if, if a student is uh, you know uh, taught by some external tutor that is going to be one variable class test score is another variable so our equation in this case would become y equals to a naught plus a1 into time to study and then two additional variables which we have explained just now so external tuition if a student is taking any external tuition that is going to be another additional variable and if a uh, class test score is also included uh, in our calculation then that is going to be an additional variable as well so this is now a multiple linear regression equation where we have multiple variables like time to study external tuition and class test score okay so i will cover uh, the next topic in upcoming video this is it for uh, now Thank you so much.